Good morning guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna try something new with the tractor. And today's what, November 20th? And the temperature right now is 25 degrees, but that's not the problem. The problem is that it's super windy and it feels like zero. And it's so windy that my trash cans decided to take off on their own. So I gotta grab them and put them back where they belong. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy Will it turn on? Of course, I have no doubts whatsoever Glow plug, warm up for like 10 seconds So I'm gonna let it warm up for a few minutes. As you can see, I have a lot of wood for my boiler. That is now operational. It's been operational for a couple of days. And yeah, let me show you. We're here, might as well show you. Yeah, I got plenty of wood here for probably a couple of months. Oh, look at that fire. It's a thing of beauty, guys. I know the boiler's a lot of work, but I love this type of work and I have all these logs here these are all hardwood I have my splitter outside I bought this cover to protect it from the elements and it's working great and today I'm gonna be working here with a tractor so I bought a chain a heavy-duty chain and I want to put that chain connected to the tractor and the other end around that big, big log. I mean, that thing is super thick. It's a few feet wide. Um, I don't know if you start with that one, this one, maybe this one. This one here looks to be closer. Yeah, let me, let me pull that one out first and then work with all the others so yeah that's gonna be the project for today now i'm gonna put it maybe somewhere here just to make it easier to cut with the chainsaw do i have to nah maybe not i i could probably do it right there on the spot but i just want to try something new and guys the chickens are calling me the roosters are crowing every time that they see me outside they start crowing and they come up to the fence area why because they know or they want a snack and that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take them out a snack i'm gonna take a snack out for them to keep them happy i kid you not guys every time they see me outside they come up to the fence let's see how many do we have outside that's two four six eight ten I have 13 so one must be laying an egg and as you can see they're all outside they don't have to be so, you know in the mornings early in the morning they go under the coop and they take a dust bath and they don't have to be here most of the time I see them under that tree over there again it's 25 degrees and it feels like zero and they're all outside all right all right, let me give you a snack. There you go, guys. That makes them happy. It makes me happy, too. All right, guys, I was wrong. All 14 chickens were outside. I counted wrong. So this morning, I found two eggs around 6.30. And we're checking again. And we have three more I gotta take them now because if not if they freeze yeah they could break there we go three more eggs that's five for today there'll be more later and guys I need to mention again I have a heated chicken water and I have an extension running from the house in front of the house all the way down here you see the green line 
you see it right there it goes inside and it's heating this heated chicken water and as you can see the water is not frozen this thing works better than expected so oh, I'm happy I'm happy for this purchase and they got plenty of feed and oyster shells I always leave oyster shells for them all right guys so a few days ago i bought this doohickey here and i'm gonna connect the chain to this that i attach you know this thing i attach to the back of the tractor or where i normally connect the hitch ball okay and the chain is gonna go around that it's 20 feet long should be plenty all right guys so i bought this chain at harbor freight and it's a little bit more than what i need as you can see it's a half inch by 20 feet it's a heavy duty transportation chain grade 70 and again it has an 11,300 pound working load yeah i wanted something extra heavy extra duty all right let's take it out to the tractor oh and it comes in its own little container yeah you can get lighter chains less expensive but I wanted something extra sturdy, something that's going to last me uh, 30, 40 years, maybe more, you never know. This end's going to go here on the tractor, and the other end is going to go on the piece of wood on the log. Yeah, this thing is heavy duty. Yeah, I got a lot of chain, guys. Will it hold? Yeah, I should. Let's test it out. piece of wood is holding it guys so I'm gonna have to cut cut this piece here remove that first before I can move that big log
going to cut that and burn it today. Okay guys, so there it is. That trunk or that piece of wood, I chopped or I cut in what, six pieces? And this is enough to heat the house for one full day. I'm gonna take it up to my boiler and maybe load a couple of pieces like right now. Oh yeah, that's good enough for now. All right, so I moved the uh, smaller pieces of wood. That big chunk over there, I moved it over there. It was uh, very light there because it's dry. It's been here for years. All this wood has been here for years, so I suspect it's all dry. So I connected the chain one more time, and I'm gonna try and pull it back a little bit, maybe about 15, 20 feet. I could probably cut it there, by the way, but I'm just having a little fun here, experimenting new ideas. Okay guys, so I just moved it to that spot. The tractor was starting to spin its wheels. Yeah, I have it on four wheel drive, slow, and then I tried fast with the tractor. You see that? Spinning wheels. Yeah, it's a it's a powerful little thing, but maybe that's too much to ask of it. But anyway, it's okay because I can cut it right here. I have easy access to it now, and with my bigger chainsaw, I can come here and start slicing it up a little bit at a time. There we go. It started spinning the back wheels and one of the front wheels so yeah the uh, little tractor that almost could almost but again guys i'm very happy with this chain <laughs> i don't think i will ever break this this is super thick look at this 70 grade that's one of the thickest chains they have Okay guys, so the log has been cut to about 23 inches in length and this is what it looks like after the job. It didn't take that long, maybe 20 minutes, 25 minutes to cut all of these. So what am I going to do now? Well, I'm not going to split them today because uh, we have family. Uh, coming from Canada in a couple of days and my wife needs me inside to prepare for that So yeah So but eventually in a couple of days, I'm gonna have to roll them up up to the uh, Splitter which is up there because these things are heavy, but yeah, I'm happy Satisfied and by the way, I don't think it's it's uh, green. It's uh, it looks like it's dried out. So 
yeah like I said this is these logs I've been here for years and I could probably get like a week's worth maybe five or six days worth of wood to burn on a boiler so yeah we're looking at let's say just six days of wood here Just like that guys, I'm done. And guys, I can't stress enough how important it is to have a bunch of chains. I have about six or seven and I sharpen them myself. Not by hand with a file type thingy. I sharpen it with a tool like a Dremel and it's super fast. I can sharpen the chain in just a couple of minutes. And yes, you will mess up the first two or three chains you ever do. I did I messed a whole bunch of them up but the more you do it the easier it's gonna be for you and the faster you learn so tip for today chickens are doing fine it's supposed to snow today maybe just a couple of inches so let's put the tractor back in its place as you see I have a whole bunch of hardwoods here I don't have to touch that for a very long time maybe January February I'm just gonna leave them there I'm gonna cut some of that soft wood back there and just store them over there but it's you know as you can see as well over there I have plenty for the next couple of months tell you I'm happy with my tractor yeah this Kubota BX 2680 turned out to be off the hook and talking about snow I am going to install this snow blower in a few weeks too early if it snows now I'm gonna use the other one the Arian snow blower so yeah this one's gonna see heavy duty this winter all right guys so this is the end of the video and I just wanted to tell you that if you're contemplating on buying some land just get a few acres and go at it do as much as you can you're gonna learn as you go um, I am still learning a lot I've only been here for about a year you gotta take chances right keep your equipment in tip-top shape all right all right come here guapo yeah, it's starting to snow now. I can see it. I don't know if you can. It's kind of like a light snow and then it'll pick up later today. So, from Lila, El Guapo, El Jefe, and Carmen, and the rest of the chicken crew, you guys have a good morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you are. Hasta mañana.